Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I am really excited to share with you guys everything that is in my Disney Parks backpack. So I have a new backpack here and I've scaled down a bit. I used to use a very large backpack and this one is just a little bit smaller, although it still has a little bit of weight to it. Um, I'm trying to scale back a little bit more every year. So this really has everything that I absolutely need while I am in Disney World. So I hope that you enjoy seeing everything that I have in this backpack that I'm bringing with us on our upcoming trip to Walt Disney World. And this backpack is Vera Bradley and the name of it is, I actually saved the little tag here, it's the Midtown Convertible Backpack. Um, the price on the tag is $108, but I think I got it for like 50 bucks or less. So really not a bad price at all. I know some of these backpacks can be rather pricey. And if I can find um, links to any of the items that I'm showing you today, including the backpack, I will leave it in the description below. Okay, so first I will quickly show you the outside of the backpack. And on the outside, there's a zipper compartment right in the front here. And what I have in this compartment is some wireless earbuds in case I need them for whatever reason. I just like to always have them with me. And then I also have a bunch of Ziploc bags. They're just all rolled up. You never know when you're going to need Ziploc bags in the Disney parks for maybe some leftover food or snacks that you may have, or um, just to put something wet in. They're just always good to have and always seem to come in handy. And then finally, I have this power pack. I actually just put it in this little like slip cover that my cell phone case came in. But um, this power pack actually, has a lot of capacity to it. So this is by Man May is the name of the company and there is a flashlight on this end which comes in handy and I just have the little cord to charge up my phone. And then it also has this, um, just turn it on for you guys. So this also uh, kind of shows you what the percentage is of the power on the portable charger so you'll know how much you have left to use. You can see the lining inside is very pretty. I really like it a lot and I just have some pins that I got from um, Mickey the True Original exhibition that I went to in New York recently. I'll leave a link to that vlog above if you'd like to see it, but I kind of gave this backpack a trial run um, on a couple of New York City trips that I took to make sure that it was going to work out for our park days in Disney World. Okay, so this is just a little um, like shopping bag. So it has a clip so I can clip it on the outside of my backpack. And then when you open it up, there is actually, I'm not gonna take it out, but it's just like a really big shopping bag. So it's great for holding holding extra stuff if you do happen to go shopping in the parks. It's also great to put the backpack in in case it starts raining. So I thought that was just a nifty little item to have and it's easy to carry around on the clip. And then of course I have this little Mickey Mouse hand sanitizer attached here because I use lots of hand sanitizer in Disney. All right, so now let's get into the inside of the bag. So just to let you know, everything in here is not everything that I'm going to have with me every single day. For instance, there will be some rainy day items, there will be some sunny day items, um, there will be days where we're going to be coming back to the resort for a break. So on those days, I don't need to bring quite as much because I don't need to bring like say an extra sweatshirt or jacket and things like that. So anything that I might possibly need is in here, but I'm not going to have all of this with me all of the time. Okay, so the first thing that I have is this little makeup pouch, and this has all of like the emergency care things that I may need. Um, I have my children's EpiPens in here. I have a whole bunch of these. And then I have some Advil because you never know when you're gonna have a headache or a sore back or whatever the case may be. It's just always good to be prepared. I have some motion sickness patches. I have lots of motion sickness stuff in here. I also have these little tins from the dollar store that you keep Q-tips in come in handy for storing things as well. And in here I have um, the little like motion sickness bands that you wear around your wrist. I have a hair tie and then I have this little 
It's an essential oil motion sickness oil that I purchased from CVS when we went on our cruise just to make sure that nobody got sick. So I picked all of that up. You can tell I'm slightly frightened of getting motion sickness. I tend to sometimes on rides and things. I also have children's Dranamine in case my daughter's not feeling well because she also has a tendency to get motion sickness as well. I have some Advil cold and sinus. And then I have <laughs> adult Dranamine. I'm really like going overboard with uh, the motion sickness thing, but better safe than sorry, right? And then I just have a little thing of Tums. So I think that is everything that I have in here, aside from some alcohol prep pads. And then I have like a large variety of different size band-aids and different types of band-aids. I have um, the types of band-aids that kind of have like cushioning on it in case you get a blister. And then I just have like regular band-aids. So everything that you could possibly imagine, I have the right size band-aid for. And then I have this water bottle that I picked up from the Target dollar spot. And I'm just going to refill it with water throughout our trip. I'm not buying bottled waters this time. Um, I'm just going to keep this with me so that I can refill it as needed. I have another little pouch and this pouch has more like beauty supply items. So I have a little hair tie and I like these little uh, stretchy plasticky kind of hair ties. I don't know what they're called but they work really well and they don't tangle your hair which is nice. I have a comb, a nail file, and then I have some tissues. These are just, I think they're Finding Nemo. Yeah, they're from Finding Nemo. A pack of gum. And I have, I thought these were cute because they're red with white polka dots. Just some wet ones for wiping down tabletops or cleaning up sticky hands or anything like that. I have a makeup remover pad. I always keep this in my bag. I don't know why. I guess like if my mascara were to smear or something, I would be able to just do a quick cleanup. I have this Ariel little mirror that I've had for years and years. I think I purchased it at Hot Topics, but it goes with me everywhere that I go. So it's come in handy over the years. I have stamps because I do like to send postcards when I travel to Disney and oftentimes you guys um, send me mail and request a postcard so I love to write back to you. So I'm going to have stamps so I am prepared to do that. And then I have this big Minnie Mouse lip balm. So I just think it's super cute. I got it for Christmas in my stocking and it's nice and big so I can't lose it and it's just really adorable for this trip. Some earplugs. I have some hand lotion. I have some floss. A little thing of Nivea hand cream. This one is just a little bit more moisturizing in case I get really dry skin. I have uh, some dry patches just from this past winter. It's been rough. <laughs> I have a little nail clipper and this is really for like um, if you purchase something at the park you can just clip off any labels that you may have any tags so it just comes in handy and I like to keep it with me. So that is everything that is in this little bag. And then I have this little Cinderella pouch and in here I have one of those cooling cloths that you can just wet it with cold water and um, use it to cool down in the parks if it's a hot day. So, and I figured this little pouch was great because it is waterproof as well. So if this is damp, I can just stick it in here and zip it up and keep it in my backpack. So that is going to really come in handy on our trip on days that are very sunny and hot. I am hoping for a lot of those. <laughs> I have this, it's Sun and Skin Care Mineral SPF Body Butter um, Blood Orange by Pacifica and it's SPF 50. So I'm only going to bring this with me to the parks if it's a super hot day. Typically, if it is a sunny day, I will put this on in the morning and when we go back to the hotel in the afternoon, I will reapply. But if it is a park day where it's either extremely hot or if we're not coming back for a hotel break, I'll keep this with me just to be safe and just so that I can reapply it to the kids. And in hopes of many sunny days, I am bringing my Maui gym sunglasses. I have two pairs. Um, I will have two pairs with me. I'll probably switch them on and off because one pair is like a sports pair and it's really light on my face, but the other pair is a little bit cuter. So I'll probably go back and forth between the two. So I will always have one of those with me and I have learned the hard way to use a hard case because 
videos, I have shattered or scratched almost all of my sunglasses over the last few years by not properly caring for them and keeping them in a good sunglass case. So I'm definitely going to keep them in this hard case, especially since I'm going to be like going on rides and things like that. I want to make sure that they're safe. In the event that it's not a sunny day, I have this little mini coach umbrella. So I'm going to keep that in my backpack if it is a rainy day, as well as I have another one of these waterproof little um, bags. And this one has Mickey Mouse on it and it zippers on the top. And then in here I have a rain jacket and it's just kind of like a windbreaker, waterproof, light rain jacket. And it's great to have whether it's raining or not, because if it is cooler in the evening, Evening, or if it's a little bit chilly in the morning, I can also use it for that. So I definitely think that I will be keeping this in my backpack for most of the trip. And another one of these little bags. I will leave um, a link to this in the description below if I can find it. I think I purchased these off of Amazon. And as you can see, they really do come in handy when you're trying to organize things in your backpack. And then in this bag, I'll usually just keep a couple of snacks. So right now I just have a couple of granola bars in there. Um, but I like to keep some kind of snacks on hand because sometimes I'm rushing to the park in the morning and I don't often have time to eat or I forgot to grab something quick to bring with me to the park while I'm waiting online is usually when I'm eating my breakfast in the morning because I try to get to the park super early, like at least 45 minutes to an hour prior to rope drop. So having some granola bars or some kind of a snack in my backpack definitely is a good idea. Okay, so now that I have most of the stuff from the interior out of it, you can see the inside of the bag. So it's nice and deep, lots of space to hold items. And I will show you what I have on these little mesh compartments, which are the only compartments on the interior of the bag. So on one side, I have this little, it's actually like a little mini um, camera case, but what I use it for is to hold some of my items that I need for my camera. So I have like my battery charger. If we're out to eat or something and I need to charge up a battery, I can go ahead and plug that in. And then there's like another little compartment over here where I can slip some extra SIM cards. I don't have any in there right now, but I will <laughs> definitely need to bring some of those. So that's the stuff that I need for my camera. And then on the other mesh compartment, I just have my little travel wallet. This is the wallet that I use with me whenever I travel. It's nice and small and it just, holds like my license and credit cards and things like that. But in addition to that, I also have this little, it was actually on a lanyard and um, it's just this little Mickey Mouse lanyard and it has little slips here to put cards in and another area here for my license. So in all likelihood, I'm going to end up using this at the Disney parks rather than the wallet. I'll probably have the wallet for the airport and things like that. But um, in the parks, I'll probably have this just with my annual pass and my DVC card and my license so that I can get discounts on merchandise and things like that. So there's one more compartment in here that I have not yet shown you and that is right here on this side in the back and in here I have my autograph book. Let me just take that out to show you. It's really cute. I think it was like 10 or $15 and I did buy it on Amazon as well, although I think it is also one of the autograph books that they sell in the parks and then I just have a blue sharpie here. Really cute and it's just basic, just plain pages inside. And then in this little Ziploc bag, I have some um, different colored Sharpies so that I could change it up periodically. Maybe like every day I'll use a different color or something like that just to make the signatures more colorful. So that is the last thing that is in my backpack. And let me just show you the back of it because I really like how you have two options in the way that you wear it. So it can split like this so you can wear it like a regular backpack but also you can zip it and then you can wear it like over one shoulder or like I think in like the front or <laughs> there's just like multiple ways that you can wear it to kind of shift the weight off of your back. So I really like that it does have that option where you can just connect this area or you can unzip it and separate it to make it like a regular backpack. So really happy with this backpack thus far. Like I said, I did take it and use it on two uh, pretty long day trips that I recently have taken and it really, really did work out well for me. And in addition to the backpack, I'm going to be wearing a fanny pack. So let me just show that to you quickly. So I picked this up from Urban Outfitters for like 10 bucks and basically I'm going to 
be using this just to hold my camera stuff because the one thing that I did learn on my day trips is taking my backpack on and off to get my camera was really annoying. So in here, I am just going to have my little tripod and my vlogging camera. And that is pretty much it, it fits it perfectly. And then there is a little zipper compartment in the back as well, where I'll probably keep my ID and credit cards. So that is going to um, be the other thing that I am carrying in addition to the backpack. So that is everything that is going to be in my Disney Parks backpack for our upcoming trip. I really hope that you found this helpful. I do have another video from, I think it was 2017, and my backpack was a bit larger, and I did carry a little bit more stuff. So I will leave a link of that video above if you wanna check it out and see what I had with me a couple of years ago. Um, I do have three children, so a couple of years ago, I think I did carry more stuff really for them. Them, but at the time we also had a stroller which was a game changer because I was able to oftentimes just put the backpack underneath the stroller and this year I don't have that option which is why I definitely needed to downsize. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so already I would love to have you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me at Jen's Happy Home on Instagram. I will probably be posting pictures daily on our upcoming trip which is very soon or might be happening right now depending on when I get this video out. And thank you again for watching. Have a great week and take care. See you soon. Bye.